to go shopping. Yeah. Don't believe what everyone says. You don't have to let go of the good times. The whole reason a bunch of people showed up to the Century 3 mall is because everyone including news outlets were reporting that the mall was going to close that following Monday. <laughs> Look at us. Going to a huge mall that has only a handful of stores left in it? Why is it so important? What significance does this have? Well, I've broken this down into two categories. One, slow the hell down. People are so eager to move on to the next thing that they'll let others think what they want them to think to do so. By all of these false reports, they probably drove away business that would have been had there. The mall is still open today and all of the stores in this mall have no plans to close. The second category is all about the feels. Why do we do this in the first place? Why do we visit old stores, dead malls, and forgotten dreams? And why do so many of you people watch? This is about going back to simpler times, when the world wasn't so fast and complex. So the Century 3 Mall. This mall is in West Mifflin, Pennsylvania near Pittsburgh. This mall used to be the place to go. As you can see, it's a huge mall. There are tons of storefronts. There's even a third floor that is completely blocked off from the public. I'm not going to go into what happened here and why all the stores are gone because, well, one, I don't entirely know the full story as I did not grow up in this area and had never been to this mall until then, and two, even though I could do the research and find all this information out, that wouldn't matter because that's not what this video is about. This video isn't about the history of the Century 3 Mall. It's about the human condition, memories, a simpler time, a time when we were young between the ages of roughly five and 10, when we got in the car with mom and dad and drove to the store, when we held their hands and yanked when we saw the toys, when there was a fish tank and we ran up and furiously tapped on the glass after we were told not to, when we begged for a candy bar because they are strategically placed at kid height where they know our parents and grandparents would be pressured into buying that sweet, sweet chocolate for us and bought they did, sometimes. These are the times that remind us of why life can be so good in a world that is ever increasingly bad. And I can tell that I'm not alone. Just at the Century 3 Mall, there were probably a hundred people, at least when I got there, that were celebrating with us what the mall had meant for not just the community as a whole, but for themselves as individuals. Those sweet, sweet memories of a bygone yesteryear. There are people who think that this whole thing is stupid that we just need to move forward and stop looking back. People who say that the mall is closing when it really isn't. The people that buy everything on Amazon because they're too lazy to get off their asses and go to the store. And the people who think that the future is all that matters. The future is important. And there are people who are creating the future in both good and not so good ways. But for people like us, we aren't dwelling in the past and drowning ourselves in sorrow and regret. We're just reliving the memories and going to the places that made them. The times and places that made us smile, laugh, and enjoy ourselves. Even if some of us weren't alive yet to live them. 
Yeah, it's kind of weird looking at it from the outside. Somehow, 1960s to 1980s American consumerism just got it right. As it's like raining into the car. <laughs> yeah, you might want to get your windows on. Well, I put it down because it's so warm in here. You don't want that interior smelling fishy. Yeah, I know. Adios. Have a good one, man. <laughs> Hell yeah.